Yikes. Kind of a rough audio start there. I apologize. Hey, Indev, how's it going? So... Still working on the boss uh, that I've been working on over the past week. Usually takes me a week or two to nail down a boss. This one is a little more complicated because uh, she has a, a friend that she fights with. Got some very basic code finished. imported a handful of, of her animation sets and stuff. Doing well here. It's Monday. I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, I definitely have the, uh, the Dark Souls bug. That being uh, Dark Souls 1. So there's a few things that we can do right off the bat here. And there's her, her bear, Mag. I don't think I like this little patch of, of land that they're fighting on. Probably going to redo this, this uh, boss room. In addition to uh, to everything else, I like the way the throne came out, but but the actual terrain and stuff just doesn't really make for that much, that interesting of a fight. Kind of gets bottlenecked uh, either in the the left or the right. The camera's not going to go this far either, and you're not going to be able to to kind of mount the sides like I'm doing here. You're going to be uh, sort of boxed in the central area. Okay. Also, music. I switched to a uh, OBS studio. Uh oh, dog downstairs is having a fit. Um, switch to OBS Studio. It's way nicer than plain old vanilla um, OBS. Hey, CLZ, what's up, man? I don't know. He probably can't hear me. So, um, hey, dude, how's it going? I have been watching your uh, Dark Souls playthrough. Well, at least at least listening to it while I'm working. There, there are certain things that I want to look at because I don't want to ruin it for myself. I am on a huge Dark Souls kick right now. Hey, thanks for that host, Zero. Savage is going good, man. Um, working on one of the last couple bosses here. Um, that still need to get done. Let's see. Where is enemy melee? There it is. Turn off that debug crap.
Is the audio mono? Uh oh. Only getting audio on your even uh, with the music. Can you hear that out of both right and left? Oh man, let's see if I can. It might might be the mic. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Uh <laughs> With with old OBS, I was able to force the mic uh, into stereo. <laughs> now in stereo. Uh, desktop audio device default. Mic auxiliary audio device. Line one two M audio delta AP one nine two. Ah, come on. Give me something here. Yeah, that's weird. Audio. Yeah, I don't see an option for that. Um, let me see if. Huh. Yeah, no, I, I don't see like a freaking a, a, a by device thing. Properties. Huh. Let's see. Let's um. Let's ask the internet. Yeah, I'm not seeing the same uh, force mono to stereo in OBS Studio that I saw in in the older build. At the top of the window, click Edit Advanced Audio Properties. Check the okay. It's not in the same place, maybe. Advanced audio properties. Here we go. Mic auxiliary down mix to mono is what I want. I want to force it uh, into mono, and then that should split it. I don't know if that fixed it, but if you guys could, <laughs> anybody listening out there in internet land. Uh, you guys could let me know if the mic if the mic is fixed. I don't know, I might have to restart. Did it? Success. All right. Now, back to what we were doing. <laughs> I forget. Um Oh, right, right, right. Uh Let's go to uh K 
Cairns of Magdra. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna get rid of Mag. Get rid of Mag here, her bear. Focus on her for a sec. This is not really ideal either. Thank you, OBS Forums. Nothing like a uh, live troubleshooting. So Zero, what do you think of Dark Souls 3 so far? I mean, I've caught um, a bit of your live stuff. Um, but I am uh, probably only a fraction of the way through your uh, your first VOD on it. Yeah, she's not quite as aggressive as I'd like so far. Well, that's good news. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Which is great for me, because... Uh, I'm pretty starved for, you know, podcast style content while I'm working. Of course, she doesn't have all of her uh, move sets in just yet. And you're going to be fighting a damn bear. He got me. This game's coming along crazy fast. Skull Mike, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Um, I mean, I wish I shared that opinion, <laughs> but I don't know, we're stuck. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to, I, <laughs> I want to include an achievement for, uh, um, doing just that. In your skivvies, bare knuckle only. monolithic if only that were the case on the off chance that you're actually being serious that was uh, kind of a proof of concept pre-alpha demo thing At least, at least I'm calling it that in hindsight, because this thing has changed uh, so much since that build, or that series of builds that I made uh, publicly available.
It's a very low chance. <laughs> I figured. Just in case. I want to cover that base. Well, see, I can't figure out what's doing that. Um, where he uh, gets stuck in a crazy, crazy dodge. Salt and Sanctuary, no. That's only on PSN stuff, right? I don't have, um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, any Sony platforms or consoles. I would kill for a PS3 and a copy of Demon Souls right now, but she'll have to wait. That can be that can be one of the <laughs> one of my my little rewards for completing this game. I'm thinking. Salt and Sanctuary will release on Steam. I did hear about that, that it was eventually going to get a PC release. But I don't think it has yet, right? Zero, that would be awesome. Let's, uh, let's fix the room first. That's what I think. I caught your stream, excuse me, Ugh. peanut butter and jelly sandwich, gives me gas, um, I did catch your stream where you were playing it, did you like it? It looked neat, for sure. Frozen Droid, you read the Shard of Rosen? Not sure I know what that is. But I am sorry to disappoint. That's cool. I mean, um, I think the visuals would kind of wear on me after a while. Uh, talking about Salt and Sanctuary. It looked interesting. I don't think um, it looked different enough to me. I mean, to me, you know what you know what it kind of looked like. Um, It kind of looked like uh, the modern, what, what the modern day equivalent of like getting a Mega Man game on Game Boy <laughs> versus its Big Brother console version would be, you know. It's like if, if somebody had decided to release Dark Souls on Game Boy Advance or something. Which is probably unfair, <laughs> but we're in solid ground. I'll get rid of this here. Um, speaking of which, though, what uh, what are you speaking of working? What you doing? Curious what Shard of Rosen is. Uh, 
A stranger kind of necromancer. Is there any kind of a uh, press release stuff? Um, any info about that online? You keep trying to learn to be a better programmer and then wanting to go back to developing in Game Maker. Hey man, whatever works. Whatever works to to bring your vision to life. Okay, that's what we want. We want the dirt tile set. About um, a stranger kind of necromancer, or is it super duper early yet for you guys? Except the room, yeah, the room editor kind of gives me carpal tunnel, which is why I have completely switched to uh, tiled here. Pretty much exclusively when building out my rooms. This fight calls for a nice, big, even stretch of earth, I think. Yeah, game makers, game makers room editor um, makes me want to uh, crawl into the fe fetal position <laughs> and just hide. I complain because I care. I love game maker. I wouldn't be doing this uh, without it. But uh, it would be it would be nice to have something a little more robust <laughs> and, and smoother of an experience than what is currently on offer. Okie dokie. is this six and twenty three five hundred and forty four pixels wide Hey, Jackal. 
How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, Twitch is, is weird. Uh, at least for me. With its... Uh, notifications as well. Pixel edit. I haven't touched pixel edit in a while, and I think it's, that's mostly because um, I've largely finished uh, a lot of my tile sets. Typically, any any. Further editing, I can kind of get away with copy, paste, and palette swap, <laughs> which is nice. Any more? Trying to think about what would make a uh, one, two, three, four, or wait, uh, what are we on our f eight and twenty one? Okay, four hundred and sixteen wide now, which is fine. Totally, uh, Game Maker Studio. Oh, okay. Uh, like the the one, a couple weeks ago. Surprisingly, everything was fine for me. <laughs> After that update. Yeah, I I'm of a similar opinion. Monolithic. But uh, usually I really dig the fixes that are available. Um, so what I do is I just back up everything all over the place. Um, and then <laughs> I'll give it a shot, and if it doesn't work, you know, I'll roll back and... And, and restore my backups and stuff, but uh, yeah, there there have been a few game maker updates that were were incredibly offensive, <laughs> it was highly offensive. Uh, that pretty much broke everything. Which was very sad. What does the this one look like? See, I like the way that looks, but it doesn't play well. You know, and that's the most important part. Need uh, something here that makes makes the fight interesting and fun, or at least interesting and challenging. I 
thinking about not updated, but those new fixes features they add. So tempting. Always so tempting. But yeah, that's what I usually do is I have to, uh, you know, got to back everything up, see if, <laughs> see what broke and why. And if it's just kind of, you know, mostly th there are a few updates that, that launched with like some pretty obnoxious bugs too, that were just like, no, I'm not, I'm not having any of that. We are not doing that. <laughs> there was one, uh, geez, how long ago was it? Um, it messed with the resource tree, like, severely. So anytime, you know, this thing, anytime you added a new asset, it had to reload your entire resource tree. And if you have a ton of stuff, like if your game is pretty big, like mine's getting getting up there, and it's got like 2,000 sprites and uh, hundreds of backgrounds and... Uh, more than a few object files and and all that uh it has to reload every it had to reload everything every single time you added a new thing when you sleep wake me when they fix the research yeah oh it was bad that was one of those instances where i just had to to roll back and And it's not like, um, you know, it's not like I was on the uh, the beta branch either. You know, I was on the uh, on the stable <laughs> channel. You still have issues with the resource tree adding things to a folder, like like dragging them around and trying to add them to a directory or group. I have kind of got that down by now, but it's it has taken it has taken some practice. It's weird that it would take some practice, but okay. Uh, we want some fire, 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 fire. You're going to add a folder, then create a sprite in there, and then it's yeah. Okay, that's yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, lag script. Um, it, it it's almost like you kind of have to get have a little bit of uh, pixel point precision to to move something. Like you got to be like. It has to go just like under or above it for it to for it to work as intended. It's like a sweet spot. Kind of annoying, but again, I bitch because I care. You know, I use it all the time. I just want it to, to be good. <laughs> Can it be good? Can we have nice things? Make it go. Yes, precisely Jackal.
Ooh, actually, what I want to do is, uh, let me get rid of these. Let me ask you, do you have issues of objects, player getting stuck in the ground when changing a mask? Uh, that won't happen as long as your uh, sprite origins are aligned correctly. Um, to make sure it is, Here's here's the trick I always I always do. Um, yeah, Charlie Shepard's got yeah. I I usually have a default, and then like if in a state machine or something, I need a different mask, I'll switch it to that one, uh, and then it will recheck, you know, the next frame to see if it's still in that state, and if it is, then uh, keep the new mask. But as soon as we're not in that state anymore, you know, go to the default or whatever. But, um, so let's say, like, I've got my main character here, right? Uh, what I do when I want a new mask or something, um, let's go ahead and duplicate him. Delete this shit. Uh, so let's say his standing mask is this. Just be like, okay, there's there's his bounding box. Get rid of the extra crap. Um, to make sure that the origin aligns with it, well, let's say I need a duck mask. This might not help you. It might. It might. <laughs> um, now let's say this is the duck one, right? Uh, and let's say his his sprite when he's ducking is like you know around there or so. Delete that. Um, but since I duplicated it, you know the origins are the same, the dimensions are all the same, and they will remain the same even if you if you go in here and you're like let's trim it and you crop it down, the origin is still relatively same, and it you won't run into a problem of. Uh, of like the bottom getting stuck in a solid if that's even your issue but that's kind of been working for me forever and ever <laughs> it's
very easy, logical way to, to fix that issue. Also, uh, how are you handling like like mirroring? You know, like if you're moving right or left, are you are you flipping your X scale? Or anything like that? Maybe not, because you're having an issue with the height. So I don't know. And I don't know, man. Sorry, Jackal. I wish I could be of more assistance. But, uh... I mean, I make sure, uh, like... So my main character can have, a like, a ducking state, right? Um... And if the player takes their finger off of uh, the down direction or arrow key or whatever, uh, that usually means if you're on a solid platform or on the ground or whatever, uh, that you're not ducking anymore and then you should change states and be standing. If there's anything above him, he'll stay in the duck state. But I also have other, you know, measures of like, like the the roll, the dodge roll. Uh, that state also uses the duck mask index, um, and that's how you get out of situations like that. You can roll under things through gaps. Speaking of which, um, I probably don't need this. Yeah, let's get rid of that crap. Yeah, it's it's hard to uh, address that issue without actually like seeing your code and and all that. But the main thing is, right? Is it's always doing exactly what you're telling it to do. <laughs> you know, you just have to find a new way of of explaining yourself, sir. That's always the real pain in the ass, is you can't get mad at um, what's happening because it's carrying out your commands to the letter. see this up just a little more. Yeah, had a rock over there. Because the Ilgogi really like their stones. can bend to your will. See, that's the ticket, is you're in control. You're always in control, and it's always doing exactly what you tell it to do, and sometimes you, you told it to do something stupid. 
and you got to figure out what you said <laughs> to make it do it. To put it in dumb guy terms, because I'm a dumb guy. I need things explained to me uh, very explicitly. Do some landscaping. Make it look super pretty. Sorry, we've been watching uh, Bob's Burgers. And Linda's uh, probably one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Making a video game about barbarians. Platformers are tricky, man. Do not blame you. They're really obnoxious. There are so many, especially um, the more c complicated... <laughs> You get, like, sh shit starts going nuts. Don't need me to tell you. Wait a minute. Why did I just switch layers like that? I'm tired, man. It's Monday, and I'm not 100% there. No. Stay. Stay put. Stay on this layer. Go for a... Somewhat symmetrical look to this room, at least a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, platformer AI is a whole other it's a whole other bag of dicks. Let's put some some heads on spikes. Uh so that we know <laughs> that it's a serious business here. I mean, it is essentially uh, this character's throne room, right? I don't like where that is. I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna go over here. Hey, platformer, how's it going? He wants code and AI to follow you and jump when needed. Task without using Pathfinding system. Um, yeah, my rickety system, for lack of a better 
descriptor uh, kind of accommodates some of that, but it's not it's not like node based pathfinding or anything like that. It's it's pretty bare bones. It's just like you know, if the players on this side of you turn and face face them. That's going to be your your uh, horizontal speed modifier. If you run into a solid, try to jump over it. Uh, if you run into a gap, try to jump over it. Unless the player's below you, then just fall. Right, yeah, that's what I do too. <laughs> okay, green grass, green grass too. Put uh, some of these in there, maybe. Uh, let's see, brown, brown. Give me brown grass. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. My, yeah. <laughs> My enemies can get uh, somewhat suicidal as well. Which, I mean, you know what? That's fine. Like, for what the, for the game that this is, like, not going to get too crazy I still have to finish the thing right like <laughs> it still needs to get the, the enemies are interesting enough I mean I, I do have to do another pass like some of them are having trouble uh, knowing when they're up against uh, a wall that they can't jump over and I think some of that is just old code I gotta tell them hey turn around idiot Stop and ask for directions. For the winter. Thanks, Jackal. I mean, it's hard not to look at it and cringe. Um, but uh, yeah, it 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 mostly comes together when uh, during combat, you know. Like then, then I'm I'm happy with it. They 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 do a pretty good job when they're when they're when they're fighting. <laughs> but sometimes it's navigating. Uh, the terrain, which is why, interestingly enough, sometimes the bosses, most of the time, uh, I have found uh, the boss characters to be a little easier to handle because, you know, th they don't, they're not uh, running around uh, in different landscapes and things and, and navigating uh, more complicated terrain. It's usually just, you know, it's you're in a room, you're confined to this room. Uh, I can make it a... It's a very controlled sort of situation. 
Whereas with a lot of the enemies, uh, your standard like trash mobs, <laughs> they they kind of have to meander and and run around and do stuff and account for different situations. It, they don't. I mean, they don't have to. Like, it all depends on what kind of game it is, right? Like, but I have decided that they are <laughs> they, they are going to be able to traverse uh, certain areas of stages and stuff. So they need to uh, kind of, especially with the with the somewhat randomized overworld encounter system, uh, they're going to be put in situations that, that you know that maybe I haven't thought of. But I got to do my best to think ahead about them. Yeah, the, the, with the with the bosses, it's always like it's a given that they see the player. That you know, they don't even have to check that they see the player. They just check distance and then execute an, an appropriate attack. Usually going through a pattern or you know have phases or something. So with them, yeah, I, I'll, all I have to do is just focus strictly on the uh, the combat, which is nice. But um, of course, uh, bosses have to be you know bigger, arguably bigger and more interesting <laughs> than than uh, all of your repeat enemies. So uh, animating them takes longer for me, which is usually where most of the work goes when, uh, when creating a new bosses and mostly in aesthetics. Mario. Well, and and then you you know, in Mario you just have like enemies that pretty much are there to, you know, create hazard patterns essentially. You know, they don't have to worry about uh, getting in position to land a strike <laughs> or something. Oops, put that on this layer. Because those are kind of close together. It's like they have an enemy that makes a sign pattern. They have a, you know, the little guys that just walk back and forth. Uh, if they come to a ledge, they just turn around. Or if they hit a wall, they just turn around. Nice and simple. Kind of makes me wish I had done something like that first. <laughs> but alas, I am human, and I need to make this big, giant, ridiculously stupid game. Yeah, see, Metroid is another example of that, like, very basic uh, platformer type of enemy. The, the enemies are mostly just moving hazards as opposed to... Uh, uh, intelligent, um, sort of aggressive, uh, multi-state, uh, combat-savvy enemies. You know, one one uh, one enemy type that I am super proud of is are the skeleton warriors in this game. Uh, they've got a lot of adaptability in combat with the player. Like if, if a skeleton warrior spawns with a shield, um, and and they're in a, an appropriate state, uh, as the player you can jump on enemies' heads to get like a a stun, or like as another way to uh, 
to avoid getting hit or whatever, as long as the enemy doesn't have like a spiked helmet or something. Um, if the skeleton notices this, uh, he'll raise his shield up over his head and the enemy will usually land on the shield. Um, but there's a chance that a skeleton warrior will spawn with like a spiked shield. And if the player lands on the spike shield, he'll take damage as if he landed on like a bed of spikes or something. Little things like that, like you know, if the player tries to dodge away, like if a skeleton spawns with a certain weapon set, um, he's got a, a jump and thrust down uh, special attack that he can use to, to try to catch uh, the player at the end of his dodge. So that guy I'm pretty proud of. <laughs> he's doing a good job. He can do no wrong in my eyes. Why can't you be like your older brother? Bony McBonehead. Makes it makes the fight way more interesting too. You gotta you gotta do a, a considerable amount more kind of leaping around and and dodging and, and waiting for for an opportunity to strike. It almost turns it into like a little bit of a, it almost has like a kind of a fighting game feel, which I like. Okay, that's probably good. This is what we will use, I think. Maybe the background could use a few more things, maybe. Be a rock there, because rocks are cool. I forget how to rotate. Pretty sure you can. I don't remember. Oh well, not too important. Just wanted a couple of extra sticky outy bits in the background, but uh, that'll do, pig. Mind uh, playing with these a little bit though, just to make them a little more interesting. That's probably good. That looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that. Um, we will delete instance of that thing. Let's go ahead and add 23. What the hell? Why didn't it add? Oh, it did. There it goes. Process. One map converted.
Where are the caverns of mag? There it is. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. So yeah, there's that drag and drop thing again. Like you gotta, you gotta look at the item that you want to go above or below, <laughs> and sort of like divide it down the middle horizontally, and try to line up your cursor just above or below that that line to get it to to go. Make it go. All right. That's how you know this room is serious and important, is because there's lots of torches. <laughs> okay, three to six. Now we need to place Magdra's throne. Throne of the war caller and feast breaker of the Ogogi. Okay, let's go ahead and put uh, what's her name in here. We'll put Mag in here. A big old bear. And Tra Tibout, Mother of Bears. I made no changes. Creation code. Uh, what is that? 22. No, wait, 24. But we haven't gotten there yet, so go ahead and comment that out. For testing purposes, let's go ahead and put. Mr. Yosta, your wish is my command uh, in a moment here. Just, I'm about to test this room and this boss. At least uh, she'll, she's, she's got her partial move set anyway. I'm going to put that there just for, for testing as well because I don't want to set up a boss spawner just yet for her. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, what we want is a checkpoint here so that we'll respawn there when we die. I am the boss. No, you are the boss. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Hopefully nothing breaks. Sometimes the game maker doesn't like it when you erase an asset and then add a new one in with the uh, with the same name. But let's uh, let's have a look see here. Compiling. We need a compiling song. To take a little bit of the edge off. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. One sec here. Forgot to make this... <laughs> Go at 60 frames. All right. Round two. Fight. Right now, uh, <laughs> the bear is using the uh, the uh, the normal bear's code. He's not using his own special stuff. Also, I feel she needs to be drawn in front of the bear. That's bear's so big. <laughs> he, got, he got me. Punch, punch. We're going to punch his butt. Run! Oh, uh, the shadows. The shadows need to be fixed. That's uh, some very old shadow drawing code that needs to uh, be changed, depending on where you are. They look good if if you're inside, <laughs> if you're indoors. Yeah. They they also need to be kind of toned down a little. Like they're kind of hyper dramatic right now. I want to I want to bring them a little closer to the uh, to the player. What I want to do is I want to kill the bear, but she ain't she ain't having any of that. She's protecting her bear. All right, let's let's actually have some some appropriate gear for this <laughs> for this fight. Cheating.
Actually, what I should be using is a spear, because he's weak against uh, spears, as long as he's uh, standing up or charging you. Hey, thanks, Yosta. Much appreciated. Ha ha! Killed him. So this, I like this uh, layout for the battle a lot better. He is, yeah, he is, unless he is charging you. If he's charging you, then, then, um, then of course it's it's offset with the speed, and you can make it through a dodge roll. Or if he's standing, if he's standing up, you can you can dodge roll. Uh, behind him. So she's not done yet, either. She's got a few more move sets that I need to to animate. Uh, she needs a stun. She needs a, a, a leaping attack, and a like kind of a spear thrust with her axe. And that will mostly be it. She, you can also knock her helmet off too, in varying stages. Like you can knock the horns off, and then you can knock the actual helmet off. <laughs> Beastly. Um. Oh wait, one one other thing I I need to check. Alan Dolly, thank you, I think. If that's good. <laughs> Make sure that uh, the room... Okay, good. The rooms are connected. Oops. Is there not a... Uh, did I forget to put a platform down there? Okay, these these room rooms aren't populated just yet. See, like the torch looks okay there, if it's casting a shadow against um against a wall. I just need to go through and uh that'll be on a like a polish pass. I just need to go through and tell which torches what they're allowed to do. See, like there are certain background backgrounds that are broken in certain rooms. Like right there. Lots of things that need to be fixed still, but uh, we're getting there. Something else I gotta fix too, I think. Okay, you can make it through there with <laughs> barely.
So here's a little instance of a uh, of a knife, a throwing dagger puzzle. Oh, dude, James, that would be awesome. So you can use solids to defend against uh, certain hazards like that guy's acid spit. Up oh, there. Whoops. <laughs> he got me. He got me real good. So, uh, like I want that block down there. I can cut the rope to make it drop. Any non Friday night. Just to coordinate with the wife's morning work soon. Okay, cool. Cool, man. Oops, there's a problem. Oh, what, what room is that? Is that no. Here it is. Oh, that's why. Yeah, we haven't we haven't put that in there yet. Oops. blow my nose and find the mute mic button on this. I'm not used to OBS Studio just yet. There we go. Yay! Allergies out here are cranked up to 11. Uh, okay. Show. Let's go back here. Okay, that's air. That's idle. That's our strafe animation. Or I call it strafing anyway. The battle cry. And the vanilla flavored standing attack. That's going to be the air attack. Finish her animation set for crying out loud. Where is I'm gonna use this one for stun? Save a copy. Stun. Okay, get rid of her. 
helmet here. And real quick, it's time for a short break. Stretch our legs and all of that. So I will return shortly.
All right. Stretched. Hydrated. Let's go again. I can get rid of these two. Perhaps even those. You know what? Um, I don't think I really want to use that. Yeah, sure. Hey, Spectrum, what's up? How are you doing? Go ahead and save a copy. I think the freaking, yeah, low light compensation is on it. Okay, there we go. Hey, good to see you too, man. What is going on? Go ahead and turn off the helmet, etc. Um, war paint as well. Clothing. Oh no! All right. Uh, zero, one. Should get rid of that. Um, where he is? Turn the hair off. Lots of cleaning to do. Doing some some spring cleaning. Mess with those in a moment. <laughs> Yay, procrastination. I'm good at that game. I am good at that game. Hundred percent of it. Got all the achievements and trophies. 102% map completion. Bring that up a little bit. Oop. 
No, not yet, Spectrum. Unfortunately. <laughs> I am ready to be done, believe me. Not yet, not a hard date yet, but I'm shooting, shooting for the summer. I've got a few months to to finish up, a couple more, a couple, <laughs> a bunch of more stuff and then do balance pass and polish pass and all that. And then we'll see, we'll see where we're at. more than ready to be done but uh you know also don't want to release a crap game <laughs> right that wouldn't be fun for anybody wouldn't be fun for anybody and it wouldn't be fair either you know Where is attack? Wait, no, that's not what we want. Attack. Attack. Let me steal this, I think. Uh, leg, leg, leg. Where is the leg? There it is.
kind of looks like she's dancing. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, good luck. Godspeed. Sure. But I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by, Spectrum. And then what I want is the hair from this. Here. Here today, gone tomorrow. Near, near. That's correct. Ding ding boom boom. All these extra weird pixels hanging out on the weapon layer. I probably thought I was drawing on the clothing or something. We'll do three there. Grab the head from here. Whoa, yeah, hair brought with it some extra stuff too. <laughs>
You need to tween that. Tater chips. Hey, Prangley, how's it going, man? Moving stuff around so that I don't have to draw it ever again. Lazy Spriten Man song. Oops, save ass. It's done. I better not have been saving it. Let's see. Did I just ruin it? I may have. Eh, not too bad. I don't think I did. Still have lots of pieces that I can grab stuff from. The wait on uh, Dark Souls is killing you, Dark Souls 3. I tell you what, man, I've had a, uh, a big old wrinkly Dark Souls hair up my ass lately.
played through Dark Souls 1. Uh, playing through it again on New Game Plus. And I did wind up picking up Dark Souls 2. Because I had to see. I just had to play it. I had to see. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has its quirks. You know, uh, things that I <laughs> that I definitely don't like about it, especially being so fresh, uh, coming at it so fresh off of uh, of Dark Souls One. Things that I'm not quite used to. Reposition the clothing so that it makes sense. Yes, Scholar of the First Sin is what I've been, the version that I have been playing. And you know what? I'm liking it. I think it's a cool game. Uh, it might not... It might not be... <laughs> what diehard... Uh, Souls fans... You know... Would consider a good Souls game. I don't really have enough experience... With the series... To say one way or the other... But I will say there are some things in it that I was like, what the hell? Why'd they change this? After uh, after playing, after going on a bit of a, a Dark Souls 1 binge, you know. There are a few things in there that have made me go, huh? Getting on Xbox when you hear the performance is butt. <laughs> you know what I really, really want to play is Demon Souls. Uh, a friend of mine, long, long ago. In an age undreamed of. Uh, a friend of mine uh, let me borrow his PlayStation 3 with a handful of games. One of them was Demon Souls. And I thought it was just one of the most brilliantest things ever. The little bit I got to play before before he, he took his toy back. <laughs> that made me sad. Um, but... Uh, Still have not picked up a PlayStation 3 all these years later. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe. Well, shit, maybe it was. Now that I think about it. I am just getting old. It's like 2010, 2011, maybe. Probably 2011. Which is hard to believe is freaking five years ago now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get rid of the arms, because those are distracting me. And the hair, and the head, probably. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I moved that too far down. Gotta stay consistent, otherwise it looks weird. Oops. Lately, Microsoft could care less about Xbox, but just said, really? I thought they were starting to... Oh, well, I guess I guess they're trying to kind of homogenize PC with consoles and devices, right? Isn't that kind of what's... what they're up to? Try to go with uh, sort of a universal experience <laughs> with their app store that everyone seems to, <laughs> to really dislike. This is why we can't have nice things. Oops. Maybe I'll just try to move, reposition the underpants first. Animals don't have to wear underpants. Pretty much lost the console war and said, hey, we know we fucked up. Here, let's play on PC. <laughs> I uh yeah, I haven't been much of a a console person over the past few years, mostly just f because of price. It's been just easier for me to to stick with uh PC for the most part. A little easier, a little more convenient for us and cheaper. Plus the whole fire thing kind of, <laughs> you know, kind of made me, made me a little sad for, for losing all my, all my, my video game toys. Uh, however, most of those were were um retro stuff retro things I'm trying to not make this look totally stupid probably failing a little bit but Yeah, it's not horrible, I guess. Oh, the slow. Sing something low. Remember you too. Whoa, what's missing there? Okay, that's maybe the only reason why that looked weird, I guess. Wait, why does that look funky too? That's weird. I'm just going to do this, I think. I'm just going to copy this and paste it all over the damn place. Hmm. 
I do gotta say, I am a little, <laughs> I'm a little tired of animating everything. Ready to be done now. Ready for a game to be finished, please. Pretty soon. Has, uh, I don't know if he's still in here anymore, but has Zero been playing Dark Souls 3 on, on PlayStation 4? Is that where he's been doing it? The, from what I've seen of his stream, it looks freaking gorgeous. That game. That game's got graphics for days. <laughs> That's right. Ha uh, aren't a lot of the review copies uh, like New Game minus <laughs> one? So all the all the enemy hit points and and everything are. Uh, I don't know if damage is scaled or not, but um, pretty sure endurance is right. Endurance souls and uh, hip enemy hit points are scaled with with uh, New Game values. Need a pixel there. Need. Need a special boot right here. Oops. Grab the foot and not the boot. Das boot. Wir kochen uns. here and that one's fine okay reviewers got a full game but can only stream a third of the game while others can stream it all. what as decreed by uh, the publisher Or is it? Or is it? Certain streamers are deciding to to stick to embargo, and others are not. <laughs> and the ones who are not are just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna stream the whole damn thing." The people who got the Japanese version. Well, yeah, because they're, they're, you know, it's not, it's a loophole. It's not like those are the stipulations, right? Xbox One version has English. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's got to be kind of a, a minefield situation right now for anybody who who wants to, uh, you know, stay spoiler safe out there on the internet waiting for, for launch day. I would imagine. Anyway. Yeah. 
messed up these frames here with the clothing needs to be fixed all right now let's get the arm in there because I'm gonna have to remove some pieces with the arm oops how disarming yes What would be nice in a graphic scale is would be to uh, create a mask or like save a selection like you can in Photoshop. That would be cool for for instances like that where you need to punch a hole of a certain shape out of a, a frame or a, a, a layer. Head, where's head? Head, pants, no. Back arm, probably have to fix it a little bit. English isn't really necessary. We've nearly finished streaming the game without any difficulty. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine so. I mean, the Souls games are pretty hands-off as far as, like, locking you into... Uh, narrative sequences are being text heavy. Um, though I would want a translation because because of all the cool little fluff bits uh, for like item descriptions and stuff. Doesn't hurt that all the view is English, even yeah. And that's yeah, that's the nice thing about the, the stats is there's like all icon based so you can you can tell what everything means <laughs> yeah okay let's get that arm fixed in the back. Cool. That's yeah, that's all we needed there. Uh, and the helmet. Almost done with her stun animation, which is nice. We finally dropped that in. Just need to clean this up a little bit.
Okay, that's still safe right there. This has got to go, though. It's got to go. See ya! See ya, horns. Get out of here with your horns. Actually, I want to bring in the, uh, what? No. All right, fine. <laughs> that one can can stay like it is, I guess. Stun. And she's done. Stun and done. Almost. I actually see a couple. Couple little touch up y things that need to. Enjoying Salt and Sanctuary. It does look like a cool little game. It really does, uh, to me, look like almost like a handheld port of like a Souls game, though. <laughs> Which kind of turns me off to it a little bit. Not that I could play it anyway. Right now, I don't have um, I don't have any, you know, a Sony thing that I could play it on. But. Uh, I think I think I would be more interested in it if it had its kind of own, you know, its own sort of visual voice about it. Something that was a little more, a little more itself. <laughs> Where are my words? My words are not working today. Good for a Dark Souls fix if you need one. I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like, yeah, like the 2D answer to to a Souls game. All right, that is good. That's in the bag. So we rebuilt uh, the boss room for this particular boss. Um, made a couple tweaks. She's not done. She still has a couple more uh, more animations to put in there. Her, her entire animation set isn't finished just yet. Uh, her AI is not done. Also, her bear Mag he needs to be finished as well. Um, he needs he needs to be played with or uh, played around with a little bit more. Um, he's also going to have an armor set that I still need to to do an overlay for. Um, but anyway, that's that's my stream for today. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Thanks for the retweets, the follows, the, uh, the hosts. You all are awesome, and I will catch you next time. Everyone have a great one.